Hey, everybody. Hey, welcome to uh, the Public News Podcast. Uh, damn, fuck, totally stoked right now. I cannot believe that, you know, uh, I got Boiler Man in here. You know, this is by far one of my favorite bands, you know, that, that uh, plays here at Miss Olsen's. These guys kill it, kill it. And, uh, you know, I'm so stoked they're going to be headlining our Christmas party coming up December 9th. And, uh, you know, we're missing one, one, one of the guys here. You know, Pika's not here. But we got Floyd. We got uh, Dobby. And we have uh, Angelo Jr. here, so... Uh, uh, I'm a senior, Jr.'s at home, at, he's kicking it with his chick right now. Hey, so, uh, you know, uh, tell, tell us a little bit about Boiler Man. Uh, we are a uh, punk metal band from uh, Oxnard, California. Uh, we first formed uh, sometime around 1996, uh, put out uh, a couple of records, and uh, we're still going. Still going, dude. If I, you guys played, it was like killer. It was like... I felt tired just for you guys. You know, you just go from one song to the next, and it gets heavier, it gets heavier. It's just, and it's a, a crowd changer. You know, the three or four bands that played before you guys were good, but then you guys come on, it's just a whole other level, you know, and it's bad respect for you guys. And, uh, you know, I, I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate what you guys do. It's just, it's incredible to watch. We've had us on like every other week for like two months. That was we, freaking rad. Dude. We fucking appreciate this place, yeah. appreciate yeah. you, dude. You gave us a fucking home, dude. You know, we need, we needed this big time after the fucking pandemic and shit, and like you brought us in, fucking gave us a home too. So fucking thank you for everything. Well, yeah, you're, you're absolutely. Fucking, you're a gracious absolutely. man. And we appreciate well, it. Absolutely, man. absolutely. You know, I, I, you know, I appreciate the respect. You know, you guys come in here, and you know, we never have any troubles here. You know, you know, a lot of these places get a lot of trouble and stuff like oh, there, but yeah. you know, not here. It seems like everybody's, you know, got a tight knit community going yeah, on. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Flourishing, and you're a big part of it. Thanks. Okay. So, Floyd Dodd, uh, tell us a little about. Uh, because every time you know I hear you just scream at the top of your lungs, man, you're just killing it, dude. Killing uh, it. That's as much as that can be said, you know. Um, these guys were already doing it back in the day, and when they started doing it again, you know, they hit me up, and I decided I was going to give it the old college try to see if I could still do it. And in my 50s, I'm just glad that I can still do it, you know. Yeah. It's just like you, know, you, you look effortless dude, when you're up there. I mean, all you guys are just. The flow is incredible. It's incredible to watch you guys, and by far my, my, probably my favorite band here that comes to play. And you know, it's awesome. So how, how can people find your music? You know, where, where do guys go to look to find your music? Uh, we uh, we have a presence on Spotify. We stream on all, actually all platforms. Um, we have um, a record available, an EP, a five song EP that we put out last, actually uh, beginning of this year. Uh, that's available on Bandcamp or, or uh, come to one of our shows. We have it. Cool. And so you guys have got any upcoming shows or are you taking a little break? No, yeah, we've, we've got a couple. We've got some Halloween shenanigans coming up. <laughs> um, taking, a, taking a little, little road trip out to Bakersfield. Um, uh, then playing locally. And then uh, in December, we've got a couple of shows coming up. And as we're, well. we're in the middle of making a full length record right now, too. We're about three quarters through it right now. It's gonna be fucking brutal. Would you twelve see songs? The, twelve songs. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be fucking brutal. What, when do you think you guys will be releasing that? Fuck, dude. I'm not even gonna say, dude. <laughs> yeah, right, right? yeah, I know better than that, dude. Very cool. But dude, we have fucking mad history playing together, dude. Like all of us, even when we weren't playing in, in Boiler Man, we all went and did different stuff. We all kind of fused with each other in different projects. Me and him got another record out from you know another band called Corrupt the File. We did a lot of things with that. Like I've been playing with this guy since we were in fucking high school. I've been playing with drums. I've been playing off and on with these guys since we were in like tenth grade. That's awesome. You know what I mean? So we know each other really well. We all grew, all grew up together. Yeah, all grew up together. All got into trouble together. Aren't you on a project now? You want to talk about? Oh yeah. Well, I'm, I I just started playing with Doctor No, so I'm starting to write new music with Doctor No too. Been doing some good shows with them. It's a big honor. Honor. Yeah. That's, that's one of the most influential bands of in my life. Yeah, the first time you played live with them was here. Right? My first show that I ever played. Yeah, that was a cool show. That was a cool show. Yeah, I hope Yeah, so we're having a lot of fun with them, man. They're really, really great people. And Fred, Fred's one of my guitar heroes, so I get to play alongside one of my guitar heroes. So it's fucking pretty fucking cool, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, man. You just watch you guys and play. It's just like, you know. By, by halfway through, you guys are just drenched in sweat, but you guys, you know, you don't let up at all, man. Nah, you just guys, you kill it, and yeah, yeah. It's, it's, that's the only way we know. It's the only way we know how to do it. There's just no other way of, of doing it, but that way. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. Ain't, yeah. Hey, it works, man. Yeah. It works. Fucking yeah. But 
Yeah, man. Hey, uh, thank you guys for uh, for coming in and doing the interview. Uh, I appreciate well, you guys. Appreciate thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. yeah. So and uh, you know, yeah, I asked these guys if uh, they would headline at the Miss Olsen's Christmas show on December 9th, and uh, or they'll be here. So uh, fun, yeah, it's gonna open up. We got Teresa fun, Russell. Uh, she's gonna open up the night. She's, she's a legend. legend. Yeah, she's yeah. gonna open up, and uh, yeah, probably a couple other bands, but. Uh, Definitely, Boiler Man will be headlining yeah. the Christmas show. So we're gonna make sure everybody leaves with their heads ringing that night. <laughs> <laughs> they will. They will. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, inspired me to do the, the whole new stage and, yeah, and upgrade yeah. the lights, man. You know, the talent coming through here is just—it's incredible. And you know, well, you really, awesome, you really, man. the progression has been swift. Dude. Yeah, we've we've noticed. Yeah, swift. We've noticed dude. everything, dude. Yeah. So, like I said, man, you gave us a home, man. This is home. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate man, that. I really appreciate do. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. sure. Fuck oh, yeah. Love you, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, uh, thank you guys so much for coming in. And uh, you come out and check them out December 9th. You can check them out online. And uh, I know everybody's looking forward to the new record. I mean, that's going to, you know, up the whole Nardcore scene, you know, just something incredible. So, but uh, hey, thank you guys again. I really thank appreciate you. you. Yo, yep. dude, thank yeah. you guys. So, hey, sure. Boiler Man in the house right here, man. That's it. Woo! Let's yeah. get fucking brewed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.